Steps for PEP problem solving. Hi, PEP stars. Welcome back to the channel. So we have one exam done, one more to go. And in this video, we are going to be looking at the steps involved in the problem solving process and how to approach a particular word problem with using problem solving strategies. So you don't want to miss that. So stay through to the end of the video. The first step in the problem solving process is to understand the problem. Secondly, you will make a plan to solve the problem. Thirdly, carry out the plan to solve the problem. And finally, you look back at your answer and the problem. Step one, understand the problem. Read to make sure that you understand the situation or problem. You can start by breaking down the problem and identifying the keywords and important numbers. Use a highlighter in the case of the examination, use your pencil to break down the problem and see what the question is asking you to do. Step two, make the plan. Once you understand the context of the problem, develop a plan or a strategy to solve the problem. You can simply start by identifying keywords and clues. Clues. This is the first strategy. Here are some other problem solving strategies such as acting it out or using tokens, draw a picture, find a pattern, guess and check, make a chart or a table, use a number line, write a number sentence or equation, work backwards or simplify the problem. Either of these can work depending on your particular problem. And if you see that one of these plans are not working, then you can combine one or more plan to solve the problem. You should always have a plan B just in case the plan that you made is not working. Step three, carry out the plan. Once you develop the plan, you can implement it and solve the problem by carrying out the operation to arrive at the answer you are seeking. Here is where you use your backup plan. And the fourth step is to look back over. It is important to write your solution after you solve the problem. This shows that you have a complete understanding of what you have done. Then you can explain the steps you took to get to your final answer. Review your answer's appropriateness. Does it make sense in the given situation? Reflect. Reflection is important for checking if the problem was understood. Let's look at a problem. Mr. Jones has a total of 25 chickens and cows on his farm. How many of each does he have if altogether there are 76 feet? The first step we're going to do is to understand the problem. So we're giving the problem that there are 25 chickens and cows. Altogether, there are 76 feet. Chickens have two feet and cows have four feet. We're trying to determine how many cows and how many chickens Mr. Jones has on his farm. Now we're going to make the plan to solve the problem. We're going to use the guess and check along with making a table. Many times making a table strategy below is used with the guess and check plan. So we're going to make the table and look for a pattern. Make a table reflecting the data in the problem if done in an orderly way, such a table will often reveal patterns and relationships that suggest how people can solve their problem. Step three, let's carry out the plan to solve the problem. So here we've drawn up the table and it lists the chickens and the cows and the number of chicken feet number of cow feet and the total number of feet. So we started off with 20 chickens and that would be 40 feet and five cows. 
that would give us a total of 25 animals and the cows will have 20 feet and that's a total of 60 feet so we're on the right track but that's not quite the answer let's try another guess so we're trying 21 chickens and five cows and in total we'll get four, 58 feet notice that we're going in the wrong direction the total number of feet is decreasing what do you think we need to do from here think about it really long and hard you thought correct now let's try again now we're going to try 19 chickens and six cows and the total of feet are 62 that's better the total number of feet are increasing and now let's try 15 15 chickens and 10 cows that will give us a total of 70 feet and if we try 12 chickens and 13 cows that will give us a total of 76 feet that is it now let's look at the final step in our problem solving process with it which is looking back we're going to check our answer and we're checking the 12 plus the 13 number of animals which will give us 25 head and then we're now checking the feet which is 24 plus 52 feet which is 76 feet we have found the solution to this problem i could use this strategy when there are a limited number of possible answers and when two items are the same but they have one characteristic which is different so there you have it students that's all you need to know about the steps in your problem solving process remember to follow each of the steps when you're solving your problem on your mathematics performance task thank you for watching thank you for watching the video and remember to like share and subscribe and all the best in your examinations tomorrow mm -hmm.